Welcome to Cooking Up Advice with Dr. June, where we make simple dishes and dish out advice. Today, we're going to help Jan in South Florida with a work issue and Steve in Texas with his lady love. Let's dish. So let's do my easy oven fried chicken. Now, it's important to remember to wash your chicken before you get started. And I normally like to run it under some water and scrape it with a knife. And then I put it in a bowl with some ice. Now, why do I put it in a bowl with ice? Because it helps to uh, make the juices a little more solid. You know how sometimes that blood runs out? This kind of helps it from doing that so much. So let's put our chicken on our paper. I like to use wax paper with a napkin under it. You can do as many pieces as you like. And so always it is six ingredients or less. For this, we just have the chicken, we have the breadcrumbs, whatever seasoning you want, and some olive oil. Now for me, I like to use garlic salt, I like to use black pepper, and my breadcrumbs are plain. You can get the Italian flavored breadcrumbs if you like. Sometimes I use both. But this time I'm using plain breadcrumbs because I'm going to use my own seasoning, which will include rosemary, garlic, and some red pepper. Okay? So it's always important to have that little extra on your breadcrumbs. So while we're seasoning this up and sticking it in the pan, let's talk about Jan and her work issue. Jan said that her boss seems to be a micromanager. Her boss is coming to her office door every hour or so and asking her questions and checking behind her work and, and it's just beginning to be a little bit too much for her. So now she's wondering what she can do about being micromanaged by her supervisor because she's done this work before. She's not immature. She's a, a full grown adult with full grown children. So she doesn't understand why in this position this is happening. So what do you think we can do with poor Jan? Here's my suggestion. I think that Jan should take the time to talk to her uh, supervisor and let her supervisor know that she's not used to this type of supervision and that it would make it easier for her if she had the opportunity to work under less stressful situation. Now perhaps her supervisor is used to doing that type of micromanagement. I mean sometimes that's how it is. That's their management style. But since Jan is not used to it, I think that they should have a conversation. So Jan, here's what I think you should do. I think you should go to your boss and say, what is it that I can do to make you more comfortable with my performance at work so you don't have to feel like you need to micromanage me and come to my office all the time? And put it back in the supervisor's corner and say, you know what, please help me because I really think that I could be more productive if you were not always every hour or so checking up on me. So what can we do to make it a better working situation? And have that open dialogue and then take it from there. Now Jan might be in a situation where, oh no, I cannot stay and tolerate this any longer because the supervisor just refuses to let it go. Well, if that's the case, then you know take your time and see what else you can find to do jan says she's been in her job almost two years and i can't believe this is still happening after almost two years so that might be a sign jan think about it maybe you need to move on or after you have the conversation maybe things will get better let me know how it works out okay so now we've seasoned up our chicken and I'm going to put, as I said, some seasoning in the breadcrumb. And it is rosemary garlic and some red pepper. I love both of those seasonings. Now, I don't dip mine in milk or eggs. Some people like to dip theirs in milk just for the moisture. That's up to you. That's an extra step you can do. If you choose to do egg, make sure you beat it with a teaspoon of water 
and dip it in there. But I just stick my chicken right there in the breadcrumbs and roll it right in there. And you see, gets it right all over it, just like that. And then I stick it in the pan. There we go. Some of the breadcrumbs may fall into the pan. That's perfectly fine. Because we're going to put some olive oil in there. And that's going to make it moist and juicy. And it's going to be delicious. And it's just so easy. Easy breezy. The other thing that you can do to help make it stick. Sometimes you can take some spray olive oil or you know like the Pam or one of those types and just spray it directly on the chicken and that can also help the breadcrumb stick a little bit better but this time because it was already moist from being in there with the ice and the water we didn't have to do that the breadcrumbs seem to be sticking really well by themselves and as I said it's going to have a really good flavor because we added that extra little seasoning in the breadcrumbs. Now I use garlic salt and black pepper. You can use whatever seasoning you like. That is just my preference. There's a lot of seasoning choices out there. Some people like to use Cajun or Chipotle. It's totally up to you. Whatever it is that you feel works best for you. Oh, my chicken's a little tight in there, isn't it? But that's okay, it'll shrink. And so there we have it. We have it in our little pan and now we're gonna stick it in the oven. So the temperature should be 350. I've already preheated my oven and I'm gonna pour the olive oil in there with the chicken. You can measure it. It's about two tablespoons that you just pour it right in there. Okay, and then we're gonna stick it in our oven. uncovered for about 50 minutes and remember after you finish dealing with chicken you need to wash your hands you make sure you wash your hands you don't want anyone having salmon salmonella poisoning do we and 50 minutes later look what you'll have just throw on a side salad and you're good to go so now, let's help Steve in Texas. Steve is in his 20s, and so is his girlfriend. They've been together over a year. Now she wants to get married, but they haven't finished college. Steve wants to know what to do. He loves her. However, he's not ready. He thinks they should wait. I agree with Steve. Not just because they're in their 20s, but he's right. They're still in college. They need to graduate. She needs to see the big picture, which is what if she gets pregnant? What if they don't have the income because they're still in college and they have to find a place to live? They have to find jobs. Neither one of them are self-sufficient at the moment. She just doesn't understand that. So maybe, Steve, you need to have a talk with her if she continues to pressure you and doesn't quite get it you might need to rethink this relationship which is another part of the big picture I hope it works out for you but no one should rush into a relationship such as marriage when they're not ready so when you're ready I think that it'll work out just fine good luck to you and your lady love and I hope that you enjoy your oven fried chicken and that I'll see you next time on Cooking Up Advice with Dr. June.